On today's exciting episode of Midnight Does Literally Everything Wrong, we have a heavy rain loading screen, and oh hey, Amanda's gonna hate us! Yay! Well, let's just get to it. There's a little fire over there. Is that where she is? Or she's on the water because it's frozen over. Cool beans. Oh boy. Time to see if you could sink or swim, Connor. Yo, Amanda, your colleague kind of crazy, but he's sort of on my side with what I did, but sort of not. Can you not be too mad at me and just help a brother out? Distrust it. happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Oh God. There's two things I missed out on. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. Uh, Kemsky was just playing with me. He oh, but Amanda liked anything. me more. Okay. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kemsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. Wait, you're an android? His former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Uh, who are you? Okay, so what? You're off the case. Wait, what? The FBI oh, is taking over. We got fired. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? I want to back you up. There's nothing I can do. Oh, uh, there really is nothing I could ever do. No, 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 no. Don't take me away from baby Hank. Sorry, Hank. But it's over. Come on, Hank, kidnap me, kidnap me, kidnap me. Path unlocked. Time to reason with myself. Or not- Come on, Connor! Don't be such a wuss! Ugh. Talk to Hank. I feel like this is gonna happen no matter what. So my question, like, the whole heaven thing, like, it's, it started out as a joke, but where the fruit is that place? Who's Amanda? That wouldn't make sense if, like, she was the mastermind I mean, behind all this, because, like, who the fruit even is she? Oh god, I don't understand anything. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? No, I don't I want no to. Choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Yeah, let's do it. Let's join the resistance. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. 
You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. But the stats say we are friends! Oh well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Well, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Oh boy. Key from Hank's desk. Why do I? Come on, just take it already, huh? Wasting precious seconds. Now hurry to the archive room. Something tells me we're about to unveil the mystery behind everything. Right here and now. Uh, what the fruit is he doing? Do you like attack them? I don't know what the fruit he's doing. Hopefully he doesn't die. Uh, let's see. Nothing to do over here. Just go in here into the evidence room. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Run, run, run. Surprised he didn't go through. Uh, just run down here. Key obtained. Use the key. There's something they don't want us to know. Someone in this facility doesn't want us to find something out. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose? Sumo! Date of birth. Effing password? Oh, please let that be it. Is that seriously it? Obviously. Yes! Oh my god, that is amazing. I was expecting it to be like all sentimental, like it was his son's name or something stupid. No, it's effing password! Also, there's Jericho? a bunch of dead people here. Oh my god, I love that that was his stinking password. Oh my god. Well, I know what I'm changing my password to after this. No, I'm not actually doing that. Don't even bother trying to hack Midnight and Beyond Incorporated. We are protected by high security of one password that rules all. So if I get found out once, then I am doomed forever. Uh, is that Simon? Oh boy. Or whoever we left behind in that one point. We never found out what that was about. The statuette. Okay. What does it mean? Is what I want to know. Read. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Hurry up! I'm doing. Oh my God! The, it's a real book, so I didn't have to use the touchpad. It's useless. It's encrypted. Okay, put back. Oh, this is like that thing with Nam and Jade, and we're like, I'm just panicking. Uh, can't pick up any of this, Marcus. We already know. We know. We know this. I shouldn't be wasting rights. time. Together, okay. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Oh my God! This is like down to this the wire. Like I ser this is seriously like a moment of whether or not we get to advance. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus. Hurry up! Hurry up! Where are you hiding? Put back. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, we've got nothing else here. Uh, analyze. The android that murdered its owner. Oh, him. I still feel horrible about that. Impossible reactivation. Uh, take? What? Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, three, five. Okay. I gotta, like, connect the pieces to, like, make a functioning android. Uh, eight, oh, nine, one, three, five. Oh, God, this is gonna be too hard. Three, five. We have a nine, one. Let's take that. And then this one right here. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station was Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Needed for reactivation. He needs a 3-9. We could reactivate him. Uh, He does have a 3-9. What button is it? God darn, why can't I take it? Um, can I take it from this guy? He doesn't have it, though. Impossible reactivation. He needs a 4-7 to be reactivated. Oh, I could take the 3-9. But it's a matter of who do I want to take from. Does anyone have a 3-9 that I could take? Or a 4-7 that I could take? He has a 4-7. I could reactivate him. Or him. Let me think about this for a second. Who do I want to reactivate? Reactivate. I could do both. That is a concept. Let's just hurry up. I'm going to try doing both. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Okay, I should have seen that coming. Alright, take this one out. Get out! Hurry! It's impossible to activate him, though. Was there some sort of way I could have saved him and he could have helped us out in this situation? I feel like there is and I messed up. God darn it, I feel horrible. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. Oh my god, no, he's the guy on the roof? You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me. Oh. So what do I do? God darn it. Oh, I get it. I know what I can do. Use Marcus. Can I take it? Sample voice. Yeah, I'm gonna use his voice to get uh, yeah, Simon to talk to me. Our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Oh God! Successful voice copy. Surprised I got that. Actually, need the encryption key. Okay, we still don't have that. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be alright. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've gotta leave now. Jericho? Y yes Yes, of course. Could I have just done that from be the beginning? Maybe he just wanted to do it in a more civil way? I don't know. you Marcus don't leave me again Marcus don't leave oh god oh that's horrible I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you hello don't do it Gavin I know how to stop the deviants you're off the case and now it's gonna be definitive oh geez oh I gotta survive I gotta survive circle circle okay I have no problem getting rid of this guy 
X. X. Circle. Uh, but the police will have a problem with me getting rid of him in the way that I want to. X. Circle. I know he'll never show mercy, so do I shoot him or no? Can I just knock him unconscious? Oh, he's so composed! Oh, cool, I knocked him unconscious. Awesome. Do we do it? What happened here? We actually did it. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! Oh. <sighs> well, we did something. Last chance, Connor. It certainly was. Oh my god, look at all those branching pathways. I incapitated Gavin. Could I have killed Gavin, or could I have failed, or could he have killed me? I don't think I know, but I wanted to know what that notebook was about, if there was any way to get that activated. I feel like we... I feel like there was a possibility where the other guy, the second one, could have been reactivated during this segment, and because I failed that part way back when... I wasn't able to do it, and he would have had the answers to the notebook. That's my theory, at least. But it's just a theory! A GAME THEORY!